Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today, guys, we're back in the NBA 2K21. And today, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can build Trey Young here in NBA 2K21. A great point guard build. It's a great playmaking, shooting point guard build. This one's pretty easy. I'm gonna quickly show you guys how you can do this. I'll try to get this done as brief as possible. I wanna make this build here a point guard. When it comes to the skill breakdown, I feel like for a Trey Young build, it's obvious it's going to be shooting and playmaking. Um, you could possibly pick one that's favored more towards shooting or playmaking, but to me, I'm like, you might as well get them split evenly. No doubtedly get Hall of Fame shooting and playmaking, so that's why I'm going to do that, so we're just going to go with this one. Now, again, for this skill breakdown, for this build, it's obvious you're going to want to go pure speed. You're not really focused on getting to the rim or anything. That stuff doesn't matter to you, so we're going to go with the pure speed chart. For this potential, we're going to upgrade all these shooting stats. That's an obvious one. We want to get as many shooting badges as we can, and we can take post fade down to a 78 to so the 25th. You can go ahead and upgrade your pass accuracy, your ball handle. You can do your post moves if you want. Um, that just comes down to your own personal prep. But what you want to do for defense, you can do perimeter, lateral, quickness, steal, and then defensive rebound. That's going to give you six defensive bags. What you can do with these points is you can spend these on your finishing categories. Um, you can spend these all here. Now, the only reason I'm not maxing that driving dunk out is I'm just going to show you guys this. I'll take this uh, defensive rebound away. No matter if we max out both of these, we have to upgrade our driving dunk or our standing dunk all the way as well. So to me, it's not really worth it for that playmaking badge. I'd rather just get those defensive badges and get six. So that's why I'm gonna do that because I'm not really concerned about my driving dunk stat. Like that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not really trying to drive to the rim and score. So I really don't feel like it's worth it. So that's why I'm not touching that. Oh, what really you can do is you could spend these on your driving dunk or you can just spend on post moves. I'll spend on my post moves to give myself two more playmaking badges to me that's worth it. I'm like, why upgrade this driving dunk? I'm not, that's not even what I'm focused on. Like I don't really care about dunking with this build. It's just not something you're overly concerned about. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with this body shape again this doesn't matter but I would say Trey would probably be um, maybe slight compact solid um, defined really you can pick whatever you'd like I'm just gonna go with solid Trey is 6-1 so I'm gonna make the build 6-1 but if you want you can go 6-3 you can go 6-3 you can go 6-4 um, will give you uh, pro dribbles right off rip so 6-4 is a good choice if you go 6-5 you're gonna have to wait till 96 so then you're better off going 6-4 so I would say for a park build, go 6-4, but if you want to make it as close to Trey as possible, go with the 6-1 height. Median spot here is 185, but it looks like if you take it up, you're going to get a boost to your interior D and your strength, so you might as well take it up. You can go anywhere from 188 to 187, one of those two. Either one works. Um, we'll just go with 187, but there we're getting a 1 plus boost to our strength and a 1 plus to our interior D. Now the wingspan, you can leave in the middle, or you can minimize it. Really, either of these work. I would say they're both good options. I'm going to minimize it, but you can easily leave it in the middle. I just want to get those better shooting stats along with a better ball handle. Those are the two things you're concerned about. Defense, I don't really care. So that's why I'm going to minimize it, but again, you don't have to. I would say you can leave it in the middle, maybe take it up one or two if you want, if you really... If you're okay with hitting your you know your dribbling and stuff really you could max it too and be fine if you feel like you can shoot with that 85 mid and the 82 three you can definitely do that but i'm just going to minimize it to get that overall better shooting boot for these takeover choices we're going to get four we're going to get shot creating spot up and playmaking and slashing now slashing would be the one i wouldn't pick i would say out of these other three you could pick whatever you'd like personally i would decide between spot up and playmaking either of those i feel like it would define trey a little bit more I'm going to go with spot up, but again, you can pick playmaking, you can pick spot up or shot creating. You obviously can pick slashing takeover, but I wouldn't pick it. Um, I would say you either go spot up or playmaking are probably the best two options, but I'm going to go with a spot up shooter takeover. For this build, guys, we are going to get a playmaking shot creator similar to Steph Curry, Kirk Heinrich, and Trey Young. So Trey is on there, guys. This is how you can build this playmaking shot creator that is similar to Trey Young. It's the same height and everything. Now, this is a great build. It's a fun build, and it's obviously a little bit shorter, so you can make this build up to 6'4 and still get that ball handle. I would I would say that's the key thing with this build is you want to be able to get pro dribbles if you go six five you're gonna to have to grind it to 96 and i don't know if everyone's gonna to want to do that so for these badges i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those now i know we don't have a bunch we really we don't have any finishing badges really so i i know that's the only downside with this build is this year they tweaked it a little bit because last year you could get like three or five finishing badges building this similar to this and it was less defense but it was you know the same it was three finishing so you could at least have those but for this you could put this in a lot of places i'm just gonna put it on contact finisher we only have one so to me it doesn't really matter i feel like pro touch could work as well either of those pro touches to help with layups or contact finisher i don't even know really if this build being a 6-1 if you're gonna be able to dunk very consistently so if not i would use pro touch but either pro touch or contact finisher is the finishing badge i would go with for these defensive badges i would put intimidator on silver and clamps on silver and then pickpocket and pick dodger on bronze 
Uh, just, you know, you want to be able to play good perimeter D, and I wouldn't put Rim Protector and chase down with this build because you're not very tall, so you're really not trying to be like a defensive player. That seems kind of pointless to me, but those just so you can get around screens, you can steal the ball from people, things like that, and this way you can play good perimeter D with those badges. Now, for these playmaking badges, I'm going to put Handles for Days on Hall of Fame, Quick First Step on Hall of Fame, Space Grader on Hall of Fame, Bailout here on Bronze. Now, if you pick Playmaking Tape, go with Ankle Breaker, but if not, I don't know. This year, like, nobody's been breaking ankles. 2K has to release a patch for some reason no one's able to break ankles even with playmaking tank hall of fame ankle breaker like nobody is so as of right now it's kind of sketchy that i'm imagining they're going to fix it but with these last ones what you can do is put these on tight handles and then i would put floor general on hall of fame i've also heard for some reason dimer is working better on bronze than it is on hall of fame i don't know if that's like confirmed or anything that's just kind of what i've been hearing when like i look through twitter and things so i would say put dimer maybe on bronze and then you can add unpluckable up to silver or split that between stop and go do whatever you'd like or you could even throw on downhill those would work but this is what i would do for these playmaking badges on this trey young build guys and then for the shooting badges finally range extender hall of fame trey young needs that difficult shots i'd put up on the gold catch and corner both on bronze i'd put dead eye up the gold at least hot zone hunter if you have your hot zones use this badge i'd also use green machine flexible release can help if you're shooting with a stick and you're slightly off so i would say try flexible release also volume shooter would be another badge you could use but this is what i would do for the shooting badges here on this Trey Young build guys. Playmaking shot creator here in NBA 2K21 that is similar to Trey Young guys. If there's any other player builds you guys want to see sooner than later, please comment them down in the comments below. But anyways guys, it's been King Clutch here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Anyways, have a great rest of your day and peace out guys. Thanks.